Wow. That's all I can really say about that. Beautiful way to end the day. Good morning, everyone. It is 5 a.m. on Labor Day weekend in Metro Atlanta. And I'm currently with Micah, headed to, well, away from here. We're going up to North Carolina to hang out in the Blue Ridge Mountains, explore some new areas, and uh, look for a whole lot of really cool stuff. So there's lots of different salamanders up there we can see that are something that at least I've seen a lot of them before, but we haven't seen them on the channel. And uh, a lot of familiar faces too, like eastern milk snakes and timber rattlesnakes that we're also hoping to see in new places. So uh, really early start today to try to beat this traffic to get on the other side of Atlanta before, you know, Friday traffic starts. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys when we kind of get towards the area we're going to be herping. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we come to the mountains this time of year. It is nice and cool up here. Unfortunately, it is looking like it's going to be pretty sunny today, so it might be a little bit warmer than is ideal, even as cool as we're starting out this morning. Oh yeah. Hopefully it's going to be a good day up here. It feels great outside. The high today is forecasted to be 77 degrees, and it's currently in the mid-50s, so let's see what we can turn up. That's well, not a rattlesnake, but uh, kind of interesting to see. I think these are ground doves of some kind. Just hanging out here on the edge of this rocky outcrop. All right, guys, we have our first herp of the day. A little toad under a rock in the parking lot of our main destination for the day. We're about to get walking around, but nice little American toad to kind of kick off the day. Hopefully, there will be plenty more to come after this. All right, guys. Well, Micah just found this little guy. This is a gray cheek salamander who is rapidly retreating. There are a couple of species of these guys here in the mountains of North Carolina, so I'm going to have to double check and make sure what species this is, and I will label it, but some sort of gray cheek salamander. Really cool looking, solid black um, with gray highlights kind of relative of the slimy salamanders. They're a little bit smaller than most slimies. This one isn't fully grown, but really cool looking salamanders, and I expect we'll probably see a couple more of these throughout the trip. And a little bit of habitat for you. Still no snakes yet. It's fairly early. We're getting used to this habitat, but kind of surprising we haven't seen anything yet besides that little gray cheek salamander, but we're going to keep at it. Still very early in day one, so plenty of time to make a turnaround. We'll see. Well, I was not expecting to see that under a rock. That is a little bat. Very interesting. Make sure he gets out of the way and put his rock back. Very cool though. All right guys, here's a very encouraging sign. There's a large viper shed right here. Likely a timber rattlesnake coming out from under this rock, so. We're in the right area, we just gotta spot one. So right there, let's see if I can get this to focus. Right there is a green salamander. And then, where'd he go? Oh, I think he dipped actually. Yeah, the milk snake dipped. There was a milk snake down here too. But I no longer see the milk. All right, guys, this is a treat to be sure to get to see one of these guys here. I don't think these are hickory nut gorge greens here. I think we're a little bit out of range. Um, these are just regular green salamanders as of now. But it's very possible that this will eventually be split into a different species as well. There's a lot of cryptic diversity in these guys. Super unique salamanders. One of my favorite things to see while shining in cracks. Another one of my favorite things to see while shining in cracks is milk snakes. Uh, there was one right beside this guy, but unfortunately it sucked back before I could get any video. But look at that spider beside him. Really cool salamanders, something I always look forward to seeing. And uh, we might actually give Hickory Nut Gorge Greens a shot tonight. We're going to be in the area, so let's see if we'll eat this spider. 
doesn't look like it. But yeah, very cool. Green salamander. All right, everyone. Well, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, our morning was largely unproductive. We did get a green salamander and a milk, which I didn't get any video of. But other than that, we didn't really see much at all. So I think we're gonna go try to track down something to eat and then get back out here for the afternoon. And then once it starts getting dark, we're going to go shine around for salamanders. So I will check in with you guys after lunch or whenever we see something next. All right, guys, we're back at it. Grab some lunch and we're back in a new area. Um, no idea what to expect here, so we're just gonna get after it, hike up to some rocky stuff, and see if we can find some rattlesnakes. Here is a beautiful little gray cheek salamander. This one's actually an adult. The one we saw earlier today was a juvenile. Look at him chilling in there, beautiful. I'm assuming we'll probably see a couple more of these guys, but really interesting looking, a little bit of habitat for you. Beautiful rock outcrop here in North Carolina's Blue Ridge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next find is a special one to say the least. If you can't tell just by looking at this awesome salamander, this is one of the coolest species in this region, the Unalasi salamander. And I think we are actually in range of the Bat Cave variant right now. But typically Bat Cave Unalasis are only found in this particular region of North Carolina, and they have a little bit reduced red, actually. This is a fairly drab Unalasi salamander. These things can be incredibly orange. Just look at that, though. Beautiful. Big salamanders about the size of slimy salamanders and Pigeon Mountain salamanders. But we're just going to let him continue on into his crevice there. What a treat to get to see that guy out in the battle on this rock face. Really awesome habitat. Still hoping for a hickory nut gorge green salamander. So we're gonna keep shining these rock faces and see if we can turn one up. Oh, I can actually see him thinking about coming, coming back out right there. Here's another Yonalasi salamander. This one's kind of further back in a crack. You see him sucking back there. But, pretty cool. Hopefully we'll get a better look at the next one if we see another one. Well, it only took all day, but I just flipped our first snake that we're actually gonna get a good look at. Little ring neck. Deep in shed. One thing that's interesting about this guy, at least, if we flip him over, he's actually got pattern on his belly, which usually means that uh, it's not a northern ring neck. Northern ring necks normally have clear belly with no pattern on it. And interestingly, on the way up the mountain to this spot, we cruised a DOR that had a solid yellow belly. And this guy has a pattern belly, so it's kind of odd. But we'll just put him back under the rock. And what better way to show what I just told you guys about than finding a yellow one under the next rock, along with that guy, who I haven't looked at yet. But this is what a normal ringneck belly in this area will look like. Let's see what this guy's got going on. And he's got pattern. Super strange. So, some of the ringnecks here have yellow bellies, and some of them have spotted bellies. Really interesting. So I guess this is a pretty, pretty good example of an intergrade zone, where we're seeing traits of two subspecies expressed in the same population. Really cool. Good looking little pair of ringnecks. Double flip under that rock. And that other ring neck was just right over there. So maybe we're getting into some snakes now. We're gonna hit this habitat a little bit more and who knows, maybe we'll turn up a milk or a timber. All right, another ring neck double. This one's got a patternless belly. And uh, we'll let him go real quick. And the bigger one also has, well, mostly patternless. Interesting. And there we go. Look at that, timber and copperhead in C2. All right, we're gonna get some pictures real quick. That is my first North Carolina timber rattlesnake hanging out with a copperhead. So sick. Well, that was the main reason for the trip, to try to find my first North Carolina timber. 
And there it is in an almost too, too good to be true in situ. Just tucked perfectly in that rock staring at us. Hanging out with his copperhead buddy. Well, that's what we came all this way for and walked all these many miles today to see. Vipers doing their thing. And we're going to leave them exactly like that. The rattlesnake gave us a little bit of a buzz, so we're gonna back off and leave them to it. Try to disturb them as minimally as possible. Beautiful timber rattlesnake hanging out with Copperhead here in the North Carolina mountains. Finally, we're getting into some snakes. Micah just flipped this nice little eastern worm snake. We're gonna be running out of light here pretty shortly, but uh, yeah, nice little eastern worm snake. I'm not gonna spend too much time with this guy in case we find something a little bit more interesting. I wanna have time to photograph it before it gets dark, so let this guy go. I know I don't have the GoPro with me, but uh, this rock is too good not to record flipping. There's a little ringneck shed. No snakes though. Micah has our next snake of the day. Yeah, it's a little, little newborn garter snake. Definitely weird looking. It's very different from the, uh, the garter snakes we have back home, that's for sure. Pretty cool to see. I'm kind of surprised we haven't been seeing more of these guys since they've been born. Normally they're everywhere in the mountains when baby garters are out. All right, little guy, back under your little rock. Go on. You can't cling to my arm forever. There you go. Very cool. So I just recorded myself flipping all these rocks, except the one I'm currently standing on, because it was a little big. Of course, underneath that one was three more garter snakes. We're getting into some snakes up here to be sure. This one's actually pretty good looking too. Very nice. A little garter snake party. Alrighty, back to your rock, guys. There are plenty of fresh babies out. Look at this little guy. This is a newly hatched little southern black racer and he has a little bit of attitude to him. These guys change drastically as they grow up like a lot of snakes, turning almost solid black for the most part. Usually they turn solid black. I mean seeing a racer that's not solid black is kind of odd. You can already tell light is fading on us so we're gonna get back to it but nice little racer. We're actually ending up having a pretty solid snake day here at this last spot so Possibly our last snake of the day. Another little ring neck. This guy has a mixed belly. So, that is by far the biggest American toad I have ever seen. That is ridiculous. <laughs> He's legit cane toad sized. All right, well, back to your rock, big mans. I have got to say, you are probably the most single outstanding herp of the day somehow. Just by your sheer size alone, you have taken the cake, brother. Yes, 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 yes. Or actually, sister, because the uh, the giant American toads are usually the females, which is kind of cool. There you go. Is that your spot? Yeah, sure is. All right, guys, here's a little glimpse at a Yonawasi salamander out doing its thing at night. Beautiful example. Look at those eyeballs. Such cool salamanders. Just chilling. Oh, not chilling anymore. But still, really cool. Hopefully we'll see some more between here and the car. But we're making our way back in the dark. Here is a uh, little gray cheek salamander out roaming around. Just perfect habitat to see these guys out and about at night. There's another Yonawasi. Look at that big guy. So cool. And there's a uh, Desmog right here. 
have to ID this guy later and get back to you on what it is. We've been seeing tons of these guys out and about. Look at this thick woman. She's getting ready to have some babies, I presume. Beautiful little gray cheek. What a great looking salamander. And there's actually another one right there. So we have gray cheek, gray cheek, and a little baby, Yonalasi. Or crevice salamander, quote unquote, I think is what they're calling the bat cave salamander these days. If that's what these are, I'm still not sure. But I will label it and uh, make sure we get the correct information in the final cut of the video. Really cool. There's a little, another little Yona. Pretty cool looking. There's a bigger Yona Lassie. Don't want to spook him in completely, but. Nice. Here's the tiniest of Yonas. This guy actually looks pretty convincingly like a bat cave salamander, but he is a juvenile and they tend to color up as they grow for the most part. There's a little, little guy right there. Really cool behavior to see. This little gray cheek is following a pheromone trail. You can see he's bobbing his head around. But there's that guy. And we got a big Yonawasi up in there. And I don't see anything else at the moment, but pretty cool. There's a big guy just chilling out in the open here in a seepage. As you can see, just stunning salamanders. Don't see anybody else hanging out right here. found a salamander hunter little southern or intergrade ring neck I guess out poking around in the leaf litter looking for a food these guys are actually pretty prolific predators for almost all the salamanders around here it's not uncommon for people to find them chowing down on stuff I actually don't see anybody here but pretty cool nonetheless I think he went down mostly in the leaves there is possibly our last Yona of the night since we're almost back to the car. But what a day it has been. It was a struggle at first, and then we kind of hit our stride here at the end of the day. And finished strong with a ton of salamanders out wandering around tonight. Really cool. I looked over after I took a, that video. <laughs> There's an even bigger one up in this bush. So cool. Well, we're saying goodbye to the mountains a little earlier than we had originally planned to because something popped up, but there's a groundhog right there. Very nice. <laughs> All right, everyone, filming this outro a few days later because I'm dumb and forgot to run one. But, uh, but yeah, it was a really fun rocket run up to the mountains. We didn't get to herp or stay as long as we initially planned because some stuff popped up that we had to get back for. But considering that, I think we did pretty well. I had a great time, and uh, I'm looking forward to returning to North Carolina in the future. So, yeah, I'm probably going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.